G'day One World Fly Squad, welcome back to another Thursday trip report. Today I'm flying from Hong Kong to Adelaide via Sydney with Qantas. Right now I'm landing into Sydney Kingsford Smith Airport on a Qantas Boeing 747. Later on I'm going to connect onto a Boeing 737 down to Adelaide. If you want to watch the trip report from Hong Kong to Sydney on board this Qantas 747, you'll find the link in the description down below. Just now I've gone through Immigration and Custom, I'm now on the Qantas bus from International Terminal to Terminal 3. This bus journey is free of charge if you're holding a Qantas domestic boarding pass. I got a boarding pass while checking in in Hong Kong airport. By the way, I have a new Facebook page, I would really appreciate if you can go hit a like and a follow. Facebook is now a new social media platform for One World Flyer, in addition to Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube and Patreon. Here we are driving really close by a Qantas Airbus A330-200. I was going to fly this aircraft from Sydney to Perth in April 2020, but unfortunately due to the travel restrictions, I had to cancel the trip. We're now at Sydney Airport, Qantas Terminal 3. This is the very iconic Travelator walkway covered by a fake 737. Qantas Domestic Terminal has two lounges, the Qantas Club and the Qantas Business Lounge. As a Qantas Gold member, I only have access to the Qantas Club. The Qantas Club is very famous for its tarmac view. The Qantas hangar is nearby, so you always see Qantas international jets like the 747 and A380 taxiing around. Even though the lounge is really massive, it's still quite crowded. This shows how many Qantas Gold members and Qantas Club members are flying every day. The lounge has many different types of sitting options, including sofas and table and chairs for this dining area. The food selection here is not amazing, but I guess it's good enough for a domestic lounge catering for its frequent flies. Hello from Qantas Club shower room in uh, Sydney Terminal 3. I'm just going to do a quick tour here. Pretty basic, as you can see. It's not very beautiful. Um, after all, it's an old lounge, so... I'm quite looking forward to a renovation. Got a toilet seat and a shower space in there. Our aircraft has just landed from, I think, Melbourne. People are disembarking from that flight. Our aircraft to Adelaide today will be on this Qantas Boeing 737-800, 16-year-old, Victor Hotel, Victor X-Ray, Romeo. As you can see, there's Wi-Fi above the fuselage. Just a couple of weeks ago, Qantas started the strict priority boarding policy for boarding a domestic flight. And today, here they go again, they're boarding everyone at the same time. Hello, how are you today? Good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, well, thanks. Lovely. Thanks, Mr. Wong, straight down here. Hello. Hello, thanks, Mr. Here's my seat today, 4A, the first row in the economy class cabin. Every seat in economy class is about 17 and a half inches wide. Because there's not a wall dividing economy class and business class, the leg room for row number 4 in economy class is enormous. It's as good as the ones in business class, if not better. In order to speed up boarding, people who are sitting towards the back of the plane are boarding through the rear door. Here's a sneak peek of business class, everybody is receiving a bottle of water. I'd also like to offer a very special welcome to our Qantas Emirates and one more frequent flyers, it's good to have you with us. As you settle in now, we do ask that all large bags be placed in the overhead locker. Smaller bags under the seat in front of you and handheld devices can be placed in your seat pocket. We also ask that you please ensure you are now seated in your allocated seat with your seatbelt firmly fastened, your seat back upright and your tray table locked in. And all electronic devices including mobile phones should now be set to flight mode. Small handheld devices can be used for takeoff but laptop computers should be put away until after the seatbelt sign has been switched off. 
Radio transmitters and devices without flight mode cannot be used at any time during the flight. Just as a reminder, smoking and e-cigarettes are not permitted. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our service today through to Adelaide. We hope you enjoy the flight. Now that we're airborne, I'll quickly talk about the in-flight entertainment. So as per usual, there's an airline magazine, I took this flight in December 2019. There's another magazine talking about the Qantas wine offering. There's no TV installed on every seat, rather we have those TV from the overhead panels. Right now it's broadcasting Sky News. There's Wi-Fi on board this Boeing 737 and internet access is free of charge. You can go to the flight map and see where you are right now. You can also go to YouTube and watch some amazing trip reports. When you're using a public Wi-Fi, I highly recommend using CyberGhost VPN so that your data and privacy is protected. Qantas Wi-Fi also blocks some YouTube videos, including my trip reports. So by using CyberGhost VPN, you can have access to all YouTube videos and also unblocked internet access. The service has just begun on this flight. Here's a sneak peek again in business class. So here's my meal. I've got a mac and cheese with bacon frittata and also a soda water. The frittata tastes pretty good. I wish there was more. If you're thinking that this trip report looks very vintage, 
like an American movie showing Mexico, you're probably right. I took this flight in December 2019 during the Black Summer bushfire season which sadly killed approximately 450 people. And that also explains why the sky looks very hazy. Welcome to Qantas 737 Lavatory. I'm in the one at the back of the plane, there's two of them. Very small here, as you can see. It's quite difficult to move around. Only one hand would fit in here. But the good thing is, there's one and there's two coat hooks. We're soon going to land into Adelaide Airport, so let's quickly conclude this flight with Qantas right here, right now. So the one and only thumbs down I'm going to give out today is for the bad priority boarding. The Sydney Airport gate agents let the priority and general boarding groups to board together. Once on board, the seat was very nice, the leg room was obviously excellent. An extra thumbs up for Qantas because that seat is actually free of charge, you just have to select it online as soon as possible. The cabin crew on today's flight were all super friendly as you can probably tell from the video. When I was waiting for the lavatory, the cabin crew in the back galley made a joke and said I could probably help out to clean the galley. Instead of doing that, I let her know that there are two cut hooks in the lavatory. In terms of the catering on board, for this short 2 hour flight, I thought the frittata was good enough, although it would be amazing if they could give us more. For the entertainment on board, you've got magazines and the overhead TV panel, as well as high speed free internet access on your own electronic devices. I actually spent most of my time talking with my neighbour, she's from the Netherlands, she's got a son studying in Adelaide, just like myself as an international student. All passengers and crew should now be seated with their Finally, for your information, it would cost you about $150 for this one-way flight from Sydney to Adelaide on board Qantas. So that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you very much for watching this trip report. I really do hope that you enjoyed this one. And now here we are, One More Fly Squad. Please share Jenny with me with this special hashtag on Instagram. And please don't forget to like this video, comment down below and share this video with your aviation friends. I upload a neutral report every Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time or 2pm Sydney time or 1.30 in Adelaide so you don't want to miss out so make sure that you go subscribe right now. And just to be safe also click that bell button next to it. So that's it from me right now. Uh, there'll be a Q&A at the end of the video and now please enjoy the landing and approach into Adelaide. Bye bye.
gentlemen, welcome to Adelaide, where the local time is 9.43. Although we are on the ground, we do ask that you please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain has switched off the seatbelt sign and begin to reach your mobile phone. You are now free to use an out-of-fly mode. For our customers leaving us here today, your bags will be available in the baggage claim area, so please check the screens for your carousel number. If you are transferring through to another domestic flight, please check the screens in the terminal for your next departure gate. For customers with international connections, you will need to make your way to the Customs and Immigration Area, which you will find located near Gate 80. For Jetstar flights, you will need to collect your bags and make your way through to the Jetstar check-in. And we ask that you please take care when opening the lockers, as your bags may have moved during the flight and could fall out. Once the seatbelt sign has been turned off, you will be able to leave through the forward door, but before you do leave, please check your seat and seat pocket for personal items. Just a reminder, smoking any cigarettes is not permitted whilst disembarking and throughout the terminal. And finally, on behalf of Qantas and One World, we'd like to thank you for choosing to fly with us this morning. We hope you have enjoyed your flight, and if you are returning home, welcome home. If you're visiting, we wish you a very pleasant stay. On behalf of the team, thank you and good morning. Hello there, thank you for watching my Qantas trip report and now I'm going to do my Q&A. Three questions today, all from Instagram. Question number one from my patron, Oshi Sham. Do you prefer direct long haul or transit? Uh, that depends if I'm, if I'm in a study mode from, let's say, flying between Hong Kong and Australia. I do prefer a quick away direct flight. If I'm in a holiday mood, uh, say I'm going to America or Europe, I do prefer a transit flight so I can explore another destination as well. Question number two from Tasman Hooper. Have you ever made friends with your seatmate? Yes, I have. Uh, cabin crew as well, but seatmate, that one too, yeah. Uh, last year I did Malaysia Airlines from... Adelaide to Kuala Lumpur, I made a friend with the passenger sitting just in front of me. Um, he was, he's also an international student here in Adelaide. Um, we talked a lot, we talked a lot throughout the flight. A uh, couple months later, when we went back to Adelaide, we went to Hindley Street, Hindley Street together and went to the clubs. Uh, we also found out that we had mutual friends on Facebook, so Adelaide is really, really freaking tiny. Question number three, the final question from Jonathan Z. What do you think about Cafe Pacific and Cafe Dragon? Oh, they should just merge right away completely. You know, when... when I loved Dragon Air, but when they changed their name into Cafe Dragon, they've just lost that, you know, Dragonair value. So I don't see the point of having two separate airlines, which are technically the same airline. You know, they don't really fly to the same places. I mean, they somehow do, yeah, but I don't see the point of having two separate airlines. So why not just merge into one? It's easier for everyone to think, to think about it. It might save Cafe Pacific money as well, because it's always more expensive to have two separate companies. Um, yeah, that's it for the conclusion today. Thanks very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next Thursday. I think I'm going to do Etihad A380. See you then. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.